Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another love compatibility tarot reading. This time we are going to look at Cancer and Leo. Cancer and Leo couples, come on in, tune in. We have some messages waiting for you. Uh, if you would like to see your particular dynamic, then be sure to let me know in the comments section below. But before you do that, just check out the playlist folder because you might find your, your dynamic there, okay? Um, happy to help everyone. Um, I really enjoy doing these compatibility tarot readings. It's something that I'm looking to bring in permanently on the channel. So please, uh, please let me know how you love these readings. I know I got a request for someone that would like to do um, extendeds for these readings. And yes, I will consider that, okay? It's not out of the equation. I would definitely love to do extendeds. Um, it's just a time factor, that's all. But yeah, it's something that I will consider. So if that's something that you're interested in too, let me know. All right, guys, let's dive on in. Um, if, you're, if it's your first time here, we are gonna start off using the Animal Spirit cards. We're going to take a look at Cancer first and then we'll take a look at Leo. We will expand on this and then towards the end we will draw extra oracle cards for extra messages regarding this dynamic, this connection. So Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the energy of Cancer dealing with Leo in love. Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the overall energy of Cancer dealing with Leo in love. Okay, so the Hyena. Cancer, you're coming through as the hyena. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of Leo dealing with cancer in love. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the strongest energies surrounding Leo dealing with cancer in love. Okay, the unicorn. Leo, you've got the unicorn. See, you're looking at each other. You're looking at each other. You're facing each other. You're definitely, you've definitely got eyes for each other. Cancer, you're coming through as fire energy. So yes, you are attracted to Leo, okay? You feel the chemistry. You feel the passion. There could be a little bit of resentment coming through on your end, Cancer, okay? I'm seeing the hyena as feeling very pessimistic, and Cancer, I feel that you might be in that pessimistic energy when it comes to your Leo. Okay, I'm even seeing the moon. See the moon? It's it's like there's a shadow here. So I feel like... Yeah, there's a bit of shadowy energy tainting your feelings towards Leo. Leo, on the other hand, you, I see the unicorn as special. It's, it's unique, it's different, it's special. You're looking at cancer and I feel that you're viewing your cancer maybe through those rose tinted glasses. Okay, because you idolize cancer. Cancer might be your ideal person or your ideal partner. You fantasize about cancer. But I feel Leo here with the full moon behind you. I feel like you have maybe strong feelings for cancer, but I feel that you suppress these feelings or you keep these feelings close to your chest or you keep them to yourself. You're still in this... When I see the unicorn, this is like head in the clouds, okay? Um, cancer turns you on, okay? I'm seeing the horn as an indication, like a phallic symbol. So cancer turns you on, um, not just sexually, I don't feel, but just there's something about them that turns you on, okay? Okay. Um, but I see you, Leo, daydreaming about cancer, feeling very fond towards cancer, fantasizing about cancer. I kind of look at this as Page of Cups energy. Or even like Knight of Cups energy. There's this Knight of Cups energy coming in for you, Leo. 
so you know what i'm not going to grab any more um animal spirit cards let's just expand on this to get more more meaning and more messages behind this so spirit angels and guides please show us the energy of cancer in love with leo in the upcoming days and week spirit angels and guides please show us the energy of cancer dealing with leo this week okay page of pentacles mm. seven of pentacles reverse that's where the pessimism comes in right and page of cups so you've got two pages in your in your energy cancer it's kind of like okay give me a moment the pessimism is what's the point seven of pentacles in reverse is like what's the point in me trying what's the point in me investing into this it's no use it's not going to work um it's it's a lost cause that's where the pessimism comes in You have feelings for Leo, but you're not showing your feelings. I, th I feel like Cancer's being a bit snikey, a bit narky, I want to say. The hyena to me is like narky. I'm not saying that you're being a narcissistic, but there is narcissistic tendencies here. You're being very narky. You're, you're sort of coming through a little bit manipulative, maybe emotionally manipulative towards Leo. I want to get more on the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, King of Swords. You're, you're kind of like... You're putting emotional distance between you and Leo. You're not showing that warmth side of you, Cancer. The King of Swords is very logical. He's detached. He's far removed from his emotions. He's more in his critical thinking. And I feel like that's where you are. You're, you're criticizing or you might be being very critical thinking at this time. But I definitely see you being a lot more detached. Now, you've got the Page of Pentacles, Cancer, and you've got the Page of Cups. So you could be, please don't take this the wrong way, Cancer, but you could be acting a little immature about this. Okay, the King of Swords is, you know, just be observant or be mindful of your behavior or even why you're acting this way. Okay, the King of Swords is also asking for you to come up with a solution to this. There's got to be another way. There's got to be a solution. I feel what's happening here with the Page of Pentacles is you would like Leo to give you more. Give you more at this point. Maybe you feel like you're not getting your needs met. Maybe you feel like Leo just isn't meeting your needs your when i say needs pentacles to me speaks of like safety security maybe leo isn't making you feel safe maybe leo is making you feel insecure and you feel like you need more from them maybe you're feeling um like you're wanting some kind of an offer from them Maybe you want them to show you how they feel. You want something tangible from them. You might be looking for an apology. Page of Cups can speak to apologies. Okay, maybe you're feeling like Leo's never going to apologize. That's where the pessimism comes in, right? It's like Leo's never going to apologize. Leo's never going to admit that they're, they've made a mistake or they're wrong, blah, blah, blah. 
Page of Cups is also an energy cancer of where, like, you have feelings for Leo. You're holding back these feelings because at this point, you are aware that you've been giving more of yourself. You know, the Page of Cups can lack boundaries, but that's not Leo's fault. This is something with the King of Swords that you now need to be aware of within yourself. Maybe you've overloved, you've overgiven, you've overshared. That's the Page of Cups energy, okay? Because the Page of Cups, he wears his heart on his sleeve. So I see you, Cancer, maybe feeling, maybe shying away from Leo at this time. Feeling shy maybe feeling a little bit sensitive. I'm seeing the waves in the background. So there's definitely emotional disturbance here. Now, fire energy can be passion and chemistry and all those beautiful things, but it also can be anger, resentment, irritation, annoyed, annoyance. Let's take a look at Leo's energy. Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the energy of Leo dealing with cancer. Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the strongest energies around Leo dealing with cancer. Nine of Cups. The Fool in Reverse. The Queen of Swords Reversed. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm seeing the Nine of Cups as, you know, Leo. Leo, you see Cancer as your wish fulfillment. But Leo, you're not showing Cancer your feelings you're holding on to your feelings it could be your pride or your ego that is keeping those feelings to yourself right now hmm I see here when the Queen of Swords is in reverse, she is maybe very judgmental and maybe you've come across being very harsh or judgmental towards your Cancer. Maybe you've said some hurtful things towards Cancer. But I feel like, I'm feeling like with the Nine of Cups here, because this man, he's got his arms crossed. You might be aware that you've said these things, but you are too much in your pride and ego to apologize or say sorry. It's kind of like with the unicorn here that you're just hoping that it all just goes away. You recognize with the fool, I will clarify though, I feel like you did something impulsive, said something impulsively, and it's like, oh, you, you said something in haste, or you did something without thinking of the consequences, and now it's like, okay, well, now I don't want to deal with the consequences. The consequence is here. Cancer is over here feeling pessimistic and maybe detached from you, but you're... With the Nine of Cups, I feel like you're not um, acting like it's bothering you or you're not acting like it's upsetting you. You're just hoping that it kind of just 
disappears or goes away. The problem disappears or goes away. <laughs> And let's just expand on this full in reverse. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. So you do want to take action, okay, but you're very cautious about how you're going to do this because the full in reverse is like, okay, well, I'm not going to slip up twice. <laughs> Leo's not going to slip up twice. Leo's not going to make the same mistake twice. So, Leo, I feel um, that you would like to take positive action towards cancer. And it could be something here with the Nine of Cups that you want to do here to put sort of a smile on cancer's face. But putting a smile on cancer's face also puts a smile on your face. Okay, you being generous is also you being generous towards cancer also makes you very happy too so it's a win-win yeah you're you're feeling confident this week to take action um because you want to act on your desires here i see the nine of cups and the knight of wands and the and the unicorn as acting on your desires Can we just expand on this Nine of Cups? Yeah, the world. You would like a new beginning here with Cancer. Okay, you would like to accomplish something here with Cancer. I see the world as accomplishing something. It's like out with the old, in with the new. Okay, so let's take a look at the Romance Angels Oracle cards and see what they have to say about all of this. Uh, sorry, let me just get them out because I wasn't organised. Okay, also too, guys, if you feel like it's roles reversed, please just see it how it fits for you. I mean, Leo, you might be going, oh, this feels more like me and this is more like cancer. So just do what you need to do, okay? You're all intuitive beings as well. Um, okay, Spirit Angels and guys, what messages do you have for Leo and cancer regarding this situation or this relationship this week? We've got... Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing family issues. So um, I do want to say here, Cancer, because you've got two pages in your energy, I feel like maybe there's some healing around some inner child wounds for you. And as you strengthen these wounds, okay, it strengthens the bond and it strengthens this relationship. Leo, you may have some healing to do as well. It's not just one-sided. You have, you certainly have your fair share of healing to do as well, especially if, you know, you are in your pride and ego and you can't be sort of the first person to apologize or whatever that looks like for you, you know. We all have, let's be real, we're all human. We all have issues that we need to heal and deal with. Playfulness, I like that. And that's that's more you, um, Leo, bringing your playful, fun side back to the connection. Okay, you might be trying to get your cancer to smile again, laugh again. Okay, this is you being playful with them joking around um to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and leo is the fun house leo is the fun okay leo is bringing the fun so leo do what you need to do okay but i see maybe this is just a situation where you need to Go out and do something fun together. Be more playful together. Maybe it got too serious. Make the effort. All relationships require effort. Okay? If you love one another and you care about each other, you will make the effort for this relationship. 
and I'm seeing look at this little boy is cuddling this little girl so this may be a kiss and makeup situation it's like let's hug it out okay let's give each other a great big hug let's show each other that we care let's not be mean towards each other let's not be resentful towards each other let's hug this out you know do you need a hug yes i need a hug okay sometimes that's all we need is just a hug i know for me when i'm in a bad mood uh my husband will just go do you need a cuddle <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I need a cuddle. And it just kind of makes it all better. <laughs> okay, let's grab a Wisdom of the Oracle card. It says new life. So guys, look, the past is in the past. A new beginning is opening up here. A new doorway is opening up here. I feel there is new life being restored back into this relationship. Okay, it's not the end of the world. There's also with this new life card, there's a new lease on life. You know, Cancer, you're seeing thing, things through, you're seeing things through new a new lens or fresh eyes. And so are you. Maybe you're learning something new about each other. Okay, and this is like a new lease on life. It's like, oh, okay, I didn't know that about you, but now I do. I've learned something new about my Cancer that I didn't know before. And it's bringing this freshness to the relationship and vice versa, okay? So there's your reading, guys. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below. I am a small YouTube creator, so any support that you offer me here on the channel is greatly appreciated. And until next time, take care.